Hello, this is Marco from Global Specialties. Today I want to show you how to program in Arduino using our AAR Arduino robot. You'll learn to write your own custom program simply by cutting and pasting from other Arduino programs and how easy it is to modify these. Ready? Let's begin. Run your Arduino software. Open the program Move. The first thing you see at the top is the file name. Next you will see the name of the project. Now as you can see this program, or sketch as we call it in Arduino, was originally written for our RP6 V2 robot. So the first thing I want you to do is to make some changes here to our program. Let's change this to AAR. Now go to the setup section and line 2, change forward to backward. And on line 4, change backward to forward. Go down to the loop section. On the loop section, line 1, change forward to backward. Do the same on line 2. And also on line 2, change pin 6 to pin 5. Now on line 4, change forward to backward. And on line 7, change backward to forward. On line 8, change backward to forward. And change the pin 5 to pin 6. Now you want to save this as 04 move AAR. Now below the file name you will see a forward slash asterisk. This means that the next section here are just comments and not really part of the program. You end the comment section by reversing the symbol to an asterisk slash. Now comes the actual program which is in two parts, the setup and the loop. The setup section allows you to establish some basics like variables and pin connections. The loop section is where you write the actual commands you want your robot to execute. So to start the setup section, you write void setup open and close parentheses. And here are a couple tips. First, caps matter, so don't write a capital S when it should be lowercase s. Second tip, all your words should appear in a color other than black. Notice the comments are in gray, and all the command words are in some other color. Watch what happens when I change S to capital S. The word changes to black, showing it isn't recognized. I can hit the check mark to verify if my program is written correctly, and you can see I get an error. Put the lowercase s back, and our word is again in color, showing it is now recognized and my check now shows no errors. On your next line you enter an open curly bracket to begin the setup instructions and notice that we end with a closed curly bracket. In between are the setup instructions that prepare the program to engage your robot. Here we see the command word pin mode. Remember the capital M is needed. We use pin mode to designate if we want a pin to be an input or output. So here we are saying to use pin 10 as an output. The gray part, on top of each pin mode, are only comments and not part of the code. We use the double slash here to tell you that we just want one row of comments, whereas the slash asterisk was for a section of comments. Our comments are telling us that we are setting up pin 10, which is our left backward or reverse motor. In Arduino you will finish just about every line of code with a semicolon. Here we have four different pin mode commands setting up our motors. The next command we see is analog right. Now a digital signal is either on or off, but what if we want the motors to be on but not on full power? We need a signal that can act like an analog signal. PWM, or pulse width modulation, does this for us. PWM signal is a digital square wave where the frequency is constant, 
But that fraction of the time the signal is on, called the duty cycle, can be varied between 0 and 100%. As you can see, the Arduino PWM values range from 0 to 255, with a 255 giving you 100% duty cycle, or full power. Here we instruct our robot that our motors, pins 9, 10, 5, and 6, should start with a PWM value of 0, so no power. This delay is written in milliseconds, giving you a two-second pause before the robot begins to move. We are done with the setup, and we'll make sure there is a closed curly bracket at the end. The next section is void loop, the core of the program. The robot will repeat these commands over and over. Here, digital write tells us that pin 9 is low, which means off, or ground. Analog write tells us that pin 10 runs with a PMW value of 200. If we look back up to setup, we see that we are turning the left forward power off and the left backward power on to a PWM value of 200. Remember, 255 is the maximum. The second line commands the right wheel also to go backward, so our robot will go backward. A 5 second delay is added, meaning the robot will go backward for 5 seconds before reading the next command. In this program, the robot is going backward for 5 seconds, then turns left for 5 seconds, then forward for 5 seconds, then turns right for 5 seconds. This is all okay if you have a lot of space for the robot to move, but I want to modify it for my small workspace. I will change the delays to 1 second. And I want it to move faster, or to turn faster, so I will change the speed to 255 on the turns. And I want to see every move a little bit more clear, so I'll add a 1 second stop after every move. Okay, so I will run a check or verify. And I'm getting an error message, so let me see if I can figure out what that is. I think I don't have a semicolon after the delay, and so I'll put in my semicolon. Yeah, I can't put it there after the comment it has to be before the comment, so let's try another check. And now we look okay. So let's save this now as move AAR small. Now I can plug in my AAR robot and update the program onto it. Let's make a new sketch now by taking parts from the already existing sketches. So here is what I want to do. An LED will blink for one second, then the robot will move forward for one second, backward for one second, turn left for one second, and then repeat the process over and over again. So the first step into writing this sketch is to open a new Arduino sketch. Okay, and we'll save this file calling it cross. And next, let's open the Blink program. And I'll copy and paste the setup from Blink to my cross. Now also copy and paste the setup from the small program you just saved. Now our setup is complete. Next I want the robot to blink, so I will copy and paste the loop section from the blink sketch. Now I want forward movement, so I will copy that from the small program. And then I want backward movement also from small. And I want a left turn. And I want a stop between every move. I'll also copy this from small. Okay, now let's check our sketch. And it looks good. And so now we're ready to plug into the AAR and run our program. So now that you know the basics, you're ready to begin the real fun of making your robot do something that only you have imagined. So good luck and enjoy.